Departures! Three days later, south of the Journal Keep, Thrall and his vanguard approach the Lordaeron coast. Damn that camera angle. It's been three days and this prophet has yet to show himself. This is so awesome. I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. Insane Monster, how much time did it take you to get the lip sync fixed? Because the lip sync is horrible in the original Warcraft campaign. Warchief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, War Chief. These models, they work Warrior. so well for the cinematics. Has there been any word from Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, War Chief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. What a conversation. No small talk, eh? Nothing about the weather. <clears throat> Talk about base construction. Yes. It's actually mind blowing how much better this is with one person working it compared to the entire classic team. In order to two and a half years, though. And recruit more troops. It is necessary to collect two different types of resources: uh -huh. gold and lumber. Okay. To learn how to harvest gold, select a peon. Yes. I can do that. Okay. So, what do we need to do? We check this. Burrow, Wommel, Barracks, Grunts. All righty. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, he will automatically travel back <coughs> and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few additional peons. Thanks! To increase the rate of gold collection, order them to harvest from the same. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. There we go. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. All right, we learned that. Now that your gold income is steady, you will want to produce additional peons to construct the rest of your base. To okay. train a peon, training a unit takes time. Okay. When your great hall okay, is selected, okay, 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 okay. you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle portion of your screen. Okay, we learned the very basics. Ready to work. Thank you. I think this is a little further than originally, right? In order to support a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Okay. Burrows provide the food. Hey, oh, what? Provide the food that allows to you to train more troops. Burrow, select one of your peons. Now, click on the Build Structure button in the Command Card. These Notice animations, are they new? ...are now available in the Command Card. To construct an Orc Burrow, click on the Build Orc Burrow button. That makes sense. Now move the mouse to where you want the building to be placed. Once you have found an appropriate location, left-click to begin construction. All right. <laughs> yeah, we got produce additional Ooh. buildings. You must gather more lumber from the nearby forests. To harvest lumber, select a peon and right click on a nearby tree. Okay. What do you want? There we go. Now Big that tree. Peon has been assigned to gather lumber. He will automatically travel back and forth between the forest and your closest great hall. What do you want? That will take some time. Got to no fix that. War mills can increase the efficiency of your ah. lumber harvest. Try ordering a peon to construct a war mill near where your peons are chopping wood. Something you're doing? Okay. Okay, okay. To increase the rate of which you collect lumber, train additional peons and assign them to harvest from the forest. Work, work. Oh, he's still got gold. Now that your burrow has been completed, the peon who built it can be assigned to a new task. Did it. What do you want? 
All right, we got that done. We got that done. It's quite slow. Yes, Ready to work. spirits are restless. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. Yep. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. Aha. Uh -huh. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point to appear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we did that well. Ready to work. Work complete. But now, how do we get new units, guys? War mills contain various upgrades that can be researched. All available upgrades appear as buttons in the War Mills command card. To research an upgrade, left-click on the one you want to purchase. Defense first, everybody. You have accumulated enough gold and lumber to construct a barracks. This will enable you to train additional troops for your army. To construct a barracks, select a peon, click on the build structure button, and click on build barracks. Okay. There we go. This will probably take some more time, right? The spirits are restless. I am <coughs> it means we can explore. Let's get on with it. Beautiful stack. I am the war chief. Sweet little rabbit. Just the a loop. The spirits are restless. Lokriga Nogal. Something you doing? I am the war chief. I am the war chief. The spirits are restless. Formation toggle off. We're no noobs. Thank you. Let's get on with it. For the advice, though. Research complete. Oh, what do we got here? Knolls. We can take this on. You know, usually. I do have Let's something against arcs, but this arc is damn fine. The spirits are restless. Work complete. Okay. Now that your barracks is complete, you can begin training grunts to reinforce your army. To train a grunt, first select your barracks. Done. Now click on the train grunt button in the command card. Gotcha. I am the war chief. Okay, reinforcements. Continue producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. Okay. We need a lot of grunts. That means we need another burrow. I can do the spirits are restless. I am the war chief. Research Let's get on with We can't really speed this up, right? No. <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions, Insane Monster is, I think, still in the chat. Otherwise, I know a bit about the project as well. Neo receiving game coaching from an AI. Yeah, that's what it is. So, to everybody who's joining in, uh, this is the Re Reforge campaign. We're currently playing with the prologue. This is a redesigned and reimagined campaign of Warcraft 3 by one person, by Insane Monster. And it's pretty damn dope. All the cinematics have been redone. New quest design as well. You will see that more in the human campaign that we play afterwards. So, uh... Oh, we got a codec! Can't skip codec. Warsong Clan. What? Do we not know about the Warsong Clan? The Warsong Clan hails from the once verdant plains of Nagrant on Draenor. Also Draenor. It is led by the legendary warrior Gromash Hellscream and it is considered to be the most savage and bloodthirsty of all orcish clans. When the Dark Portal was first opened in Azeroth, the Warsong were anxious to take the battlefield against the humans, but were denied the chance to fight in the first and second war. Damn. The time came when Ner'zhul united the clans once more, fighting glorious battles against the Alliance across both Draenor and Azeroth. When news came that Draenor has been destroyed by Ner'zhul's own magic, the Warsong fled to the wilds of Lordaeron. Because of that, it was one of the few clans to remain free from internment camps, smart, and has continued the fight against the Alliance ever since. They're the rebellion, I guess. Currently, the Warsong is probably the most important clan in the Horde and its warriors have released hundreds of orcs from internment camps alongside Thrall. 
Okay, Let's well done then. Let's kill Murlocs. We don't know much about Murlocs, but we know we have to kill them. That's a lot of Murlocs. The spirits are restless. Yes. My life for the Lord. Let's get on with it. Do we get something? Yes, the replenishment. We restless. love replenishment potions, you know that. Hmm. What am I supposed to explain? Let's watch this first. Hello, humans! <laughs> so nice. Foot people! One is actually brushing the shield. Once again, the camera works just good. You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. I want to immediately slaughter him. <clears throat> War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. No! Maybe they're referring to Hellscream. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Loktar Ogar! Loktar Ogar, indeed. The humans back. Survive my life for the war. The spirits Ooh. are restless. Defend the Let's base? No! We're I am the war We're chief. Complete. What do you want? Stop oh, man, this is getting challenging here. I was not ready for this. <coughs> Master? Swobo, what do you want? Be happy to. I can do that. For King Terranus. Yes, the spirits are you restless. Want something need doing? I am yes, sir. the uh -huh. war chief. Let's get on with it. Yes. Double the spirits are restless. Alright, I think my big desire to slaughter this captain dude. Master? We're gonna get there. No regard, no regard. Soon. I am the war chief. <laughs> Idiot footman fighting against Burrows without defend. Idiot. Master, let's get on with it. Look, regard. The wretched humans have been destroyed. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge, such as the one located here. Restless. Look, regard. No, no, we want to finish the north first. One of your structures was damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building, select a peon, click the repair button, and then left click on the desired structure. Missed the rune of healing? Nah, I saved it for later. Just in case you're wondering. Yes. Hey, don't move. It still works. Spirits are restless. I am the war chief. Oh, scrolls of healing stack. We should do this in normal reforge as well. The war chief. 
the spirits are restless. Okay, let's hug. <coughs> Need to get max value. Whee! Okay, we did this. We can move on here, right? We want to explore it all. Yes. The spirits are restless. Here we killed the Murlocs, but wasn't there something here? I think so. Let's get on with it. And that stack is big, Frog. Yes. The spirits Aha! restless. Kill the humans! If you wanna play this yourself, by the way, it's free to download. With the reforged command. I am the war chief. For honor. The spirits are restless. Uh -huh. Look regard, no god. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> that enforcer, I forgot about him! <laughs> He's so ugly and reforged. That poor portrait, man. <laughs> Assassin? Pretty cool. Oh god. Oh, it's so funny. Let's get on with it. For honor. I am the Damn, chief. I think I have to use something here. Mana oh, potion. The spirits are restless. Work complete. Yes, sir. I am the war chief. The spirits are restless. Okay, we got a lot of dispel going for us. Let's get on with it. Poor Forcer. Sorry, dude. He choose he chose that look. He can be ridiculed. The spirits are oh, Codex. I am the war chief. Alliance Internment Act. There we go. The Alliance Internment Act is law enacted by the Alliance of Lordaeron following the crushing defeat of the Horde in the Second War. The law dictates that all orcs must be taken to internment camps, the large prison complexes designed to contain the orcish threat. That sounds very racist. Though at first the captives were eager for battle, they soon became lethargic and aloof. Sounds like me. The reason this was uh, for this was discovered by Archmage Antonidas of Dalaran, who found that the orcs' bloodlust was fueled by a demonic influence that they were suffering from its withdrawal. Aha! Sounds like me without uh, this little thing here. After freeing himself from enslavement, Thrall has worked hard to break the entrapment camps and to ensure that his people will never again be slaves, neither for humans nor demons. Let's Good task, Thrall. Can attack Let's gates? We know. Let's attack gates. Your time Not Bill, gone. but this one. Okay. Rock and roll. Oh. We found where they're holding Hellscream, but the area is protected by fortified guard towers. Then destroy them. Hellscream must be freed. The spirits of Poor grunt. Poor rifleman, getting slaughtered by grunts again, as so often. Let's 
Let's free our buddy. <clears throat> Let's get on with it. I am the war chief. Double. My life for the war. For doom ever. Clarity. We need more clarity. That's a buddy of ours. He looks different, but still a buddy. Oh, we can... Look at this. Look at this. Codex. Shaman. Shaman are mediators between mortals, the ancestors, and the elements. These practitioners are tasked with guiding their people along the right path, using the wisdom of the ancestors and the elements to ensure that the mistakes of the past are never again repeated. Though the orcs were originally shamanistic, the faith was rendered almost extinct on Draenor by the malign influence of demons well before the First War. That's a long time! In recent times, Thrall has ushered in a new generation of shaman and his influence is finally starting to break the lethargy of his people. Thanks to the teachings, the orcs have now a viable alternative to the addictive fell magic of the Burning Legion. Nice! Replacement drugs. Shamanism is a form of nature-based magic that developed separately on Etheroth and Draenor. Okay. Ah, I can't command him even. Okay. Let's get on with it. Master Lokrigar, no girl. Let's get on with it. Lokrigar, no girl. There I have to go against the guard towers. It's a lot of guard towers. Yeah, no! Screw Lord Aron! Cool that this unit gets the same upgrades as the other units. Didn't expect that, really. Okay, Orc is easy, by the way. <laughs> Everybody can play Orc. Man, I really want to kill everything and everyone to not miss anything. Wasn't there something here? Oh yeah, the cage! A shaman! Oh, there's more. Oh, another shaman. Let's get on with it. What do you got here? Potion of mana. Okay. Let's move south a little bit so we're not finishing before we find all we need to find. There's villagers. Do we kill them? I don't do anything to you. Yeah, I don't see your horses, I don't touch you, all good. Are you calling to arms? Okay, we gotta read the codex later. The hell? Do they have magic or piercing damage? Magic, okay. Because in the original they must have had piercing damage, right? Hey! That's annoying. We want to read this? We're not allowed to read. We stay dumb. And then they call us orc brains. It's pathetic. Okay, now we got it. Does the game pause? Yes, it does. South Shore. South Shore was once... An uh, insignificant port town in southern Lordaeron, but gained notoriety during the First War when the refugees from Stormwind arrived on their shores. Soon after, it became a busy and important seaport. Makes sense. Happens all the time. Its coast is surprisingly rich on oil. Well, shout out Warcraft 2. During the Second War, it was first harvested by the Alliance, but the Horde soon coveted the resource and South Shore was sacked. The dev Happens all the time as well. <laughs> the devastation was so great that little was left standing in the aftermath. In the years following the Second War, South Shore has been rebuilt and once again serves as the port for ships from Lordaeron, Kul'Tiras, and a restored Stormwind. 
Okay. Run, run, run. Wait, purchase G? That's annoying. That seems to be a custom purge then. Not the original purge. All right. Um, let's, let's get. Yeah. Okay. More? What you want? Let's get on with it. Yes. Okay, we're supposed to go into the middle, but there must be something here. The spirits. Oh, the graveyard. Decorated headstone in loving memory of Jesse Morales. Is that in the original as well, or am I missing a pun? Maybe it's just a normal shout out? That would be sweet. Potion of healing, we got a potion of healing, don't need to use that. It's from WoW. Ah, okay. I don't know anything about WoW, unfortunately. Let's go! Screw you! Human people! Oh yeah, I forgot we got wolves! What you want? How can I help? Yes, watch the regard of God. So unfair, they're tier three. But Orc is also really good, so that's why we can own with tier 1 against tier 3. <coughs> oh, that cue <Q> is real. <laughs> We got some new ones here and here. We can replace them easily. Alright, I think we got that! Google says Jesse Morales, 1970 to 2010. Damn! Okay, then it's cool that uh, it gets a shout out. I like that. Alright, move, move! Oh, there is something we can destroy. Can we reach if we destroy it there? Let's get on with it. Not even sure. Yes. It would be unfair. If there's something in it, we can't get it. <coughs> okay, nothing. Oh, that's some sweet lesser healing! Good night towers. No! Need to free our buddy. That's still our mission. And I guess we did well! Luckily, 
They only injured my pride. Shouldn't do that. Because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. Finally, follow me. I have an idea. You have a lot of time to think as well. Can set sail on the humans' own ship. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, but we'll need to wait for the rest of the horde. Is that the Reign of Chaos campaign? It's the prologue of the Reign of Chaos campaign. Here they come, brothers and sisters. Cheat on faster, faster. Millennial Grom Hell Scream. <laughs> and that's kind of the Blade Masters hair, isn't it? The horde is assembled, War Chief. We await only your command. Why don't we call it We Forged? Damn, not bad. Yeah, put this campaign together with War 3 Champions and Quenching, call it We Forged. Look at this, it's me again. Now. Go, young Thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. This armor piece looks so good. Medivh's hair, though. True. All right, mission two done of the prologue. We got lots and lots of stuff to do as we're playing the entire campaign. If you like what you see, and guess what? You haven't seen anything, anything yet. Insane Monster uh, has, of course, a Hive page. You can find that at exclamation mark re reforged. He also has his own Discord where he shares a lot and the community is really building this with him together. He's streaming, he has a YouTube channel, and if you want to support him monetarily, he has a Patreon. So if you like what you see and will see, maybe you can contribute a dollar or two because this guy has a job. He's doing this in his free time. I don't know if he has a life apart from re -reforged and his job, but uh, I think every single dollaro is much appreciated for a little vino or pizza or uh, whatever you guys eat in Italy. <laughs> you do? Okay, do you sleep then? 